Okay, so we are now to part five. This is the series of transformations, which means one transformation after another. Um, this first one, number 25, says to reflect over the x-axis. That's the first thing that we do. And then we will rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Um, just to clarify something, with these coordinate, coordinate notation rules, this is your original. Okay, this one becomes your, your new original. So when you go from here to here, okay, you have a, you have a rule. So when we're going to re, uh, reflect over the x-axis, the x's stay the same, the y's are going to become their opposite. Then this image becomes the new original. Don't start back with this. Go from this one to this one and a 90 degree rotation uh, clockwise is the same thing as 270 counterclockwise. So that would be Y opposite X. Okay, just to kind of clarify that we're gonna turn this one into this one, and then we're gonna turn this one into this one. Don't go back to the original. So negative three, four, this is A, negative one, negative three, this is B, and two, one, this is C. And I'm gonna very quickly draw the original triangle. Okay, so then we're going to reflect it over the X axis. C is one away on this side, C prime becomes here. So this would be C prime and then a is one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four on this side. This would be A prime. And B is three away. So it comes up over here. So B prime. And then that is my new triangle. So I'm going to draw it. Okay. And then while I'm, while I have limited stuff on my graph, I'm gonna write those down. So I've got um, negative three, negative four. I've got positive, or I'm sorry, negative one, positive three, and two, negative one. And you can see all of the Y values change their sign. And next I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. That means it's gonna go like this. So it's going to look like this in a minute. If I wanted to write that down, that would be negative four, positive three would be A double prime. B would be three, one. And C double prime would be negative one, negative two. So I'm just kind of jotting those down, which I'll be able to use here. But then I know exactly where to go on on my graph. So I've got negative four, positive three, negative four, positive three. So this one rotates up here. This is A double prime. And then three comma one is B double prime. And negative one, negative two, C, that one there is C double prime, okay? And so this yellow one is the actual final location, okay? So this second one became the third one. And we already had that answer. So negative four, three, three, one, and negative one, negative two. All right, describe in words the transformation that will map triangle JKL to MNP. So the first thing I need to remember is that J, this point right here has to become M over there. Well, if I look at that, that looks to me like it's gonna have a reflection. And then after a reflection across the Y axis, uh, if I'm going over here, so 
That's at four. So it's right here. This would be J prime. Okay, this would be L prime. This would be K prime. I'm going to kind of just sketch that out. So we got to reflect. I guess I shouldn't write in yellow, huh? Reflect over the y axis. And notice I sketched it first. And once I did that, then I have to go down how many? So we're up here. So one, two, three down. Okay. All right. So that's what's happening to go from here to here and then three down. Then, oh, by the way, notice it said JKL. 2 MNP. That's how I know not to go from here to here. Statement of congruence. That's pretty easy. I've got triangle JKL and triangle MNP. Those are congruent. And then the coordinate notation, original. The reflection across the y axis, so opposite XY. And then three down, so x and y minus three. So that's what that looks like. Okay, we've got one more for this one. Describe in words the transformations that map ABCD to EFGH. And again, I'm looking at what matches what. Point A has to be E, okay, it has to come around like that. So when I look at this, this is side to side, this is up and down. So there's probably some sort of reflect uh, rotation like this. So I think it's gonna be a rotation of 90 degrees. Okay. So you can see how I rotated it 90 degrees like this. And so this is A, right? We want A to slide down here. So that was 90 degrees clockwise, which is 270 counterclockwise. Then how many down? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I had to move six down. So. Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. We're going in that direction. And then translate uh, six down. So now I need a rule. Okay, give the coordinate notation rule for that. So XY is the original. And then a 90 degree clockwise. That's the same thing as 270 counterclockwise. All right. So that would be Y opposite X. And then finally, to move it down six, same X, but Y minus six. So there is my coordinate notation rule for that translation or transformation, which, okay, we've got a rotation and a translation. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and I'll do one more for the corresponding parts.